I'm Doug from Shelly USA. I'd like to share a few troubleshooting tips that can help you quickly fix some common issues you may encounter when adding new devices to Shelly Smart Control. Have you installed an older Shelly only for the app to say the device is owned by another account? This can happen with first generation Shelly's like RGBW2, Dimmer2, the original Shelly 1, and 1PM. These used a shorter ID than modern Shelly products, so it is possible for multiple devices to claim the same ID. We have a quick fix for that. You'll need to know the Shelly's IP address. If you're not sure, here's how to find it. Go to www.shelly.com in a browser on your computer. Click Support, then Customer Support, and look for Shelly Device Finder in the bottom right corner. Download the version for your computer's OS and run it to find the IP addresses of all your Shelly products. Once you find the IP address for the Shelly you're trying to add, open a web browser and type the IP address backslash longify ID. If your first gen Shelly is using the old style device ID, this will allow you to add it. Afterwards, if you're still having trouble, open a ticket with support. They'll take care of everything for you. A different issue is when you've added a device and the app says pending connection. This happens when the Shelly device is having a hard time connecting to the cloud. It could be a DNS issue, latency between your ISP and the Shelly server, or that the device needs a reboot. Wait 15 or 20 minutes and it should connect. If it doesn't, or you prefer not to wait, open the Shelly's IP address in a web browser, navigate to the settings menu, and use device reboot to have it reset. Your Shelly should show in the app momentarily. For battery-powered Shelly sensors, which hibernate after three minutes, press the reset button briefly one time to wake the device. If it doesn't connect in a few moments, go to the device's web address and reboot like above. Keep in mind that you have three minutes from the time the sensor wakes until it goes to sleep. So act quickly, or you'll have to wake it up again. One related issue. If you decided to troubleshoot this on your own and tried deleting the Shelly device from the app, you can't find it when repeating the inclusion process. This has an easy solution. Since you deleted but didn't factory reset your Shelly, it's still connected to your Wi-Fi network. Swipe across the tabs at the top of Shelly Smart Control until you find discovered devices. The Shelly device will show up here and you can add it again. Please note, if this is a sensor, you'll need to wake it up before you scan. I hope these tips have helped you. Thanks for choosing Shelly.